Welcome to episode 19 of the My Time at Portia series. And here we have the first setup or the outline for our DD transport. Um, so we need a rubber tire. Do we have the ability to make that somewhere? Because I don't know if I've ever noticed it before. So it's not on the work table. Can't imagine it's here. We will need to be making some glass though. Uh, how much glass will we be needing to make? I might as well get that started. Ooh, I also want to see if we can place those in our house. Um, handbook, head over to the not quite the back. All right, so we need 10 glass. So rubber tires, rubber fruits. Uh, it just says rubber fruit equals rubber tires. <laughs> it doesn't say uh, what turns it from one to the other. Is that something? I can't really make stuff in my own inventory, can I? Uh, Alright, so we'll leave that for a second, but we need the 10 glass. So 80 sand. We have 60 on us. Do we have some in our chest? Yes. No. Yes, but not 80's worth. We need 10 more sand, so I'll be trying to gather that up in a bit. <laughs> Let's do... Any time now, if you could select the- thank you. So let's craft four here, and then put the other four in here. I might end up regretting this at some point, but it seems like it'll go faster this way, so... Max that out. That's got enough fuel for it. Does this one have enough fuel? I've been playing another game whose um, keys are different. A lot of games kind of choose to interact with either F or E. Um, and this one it's E and the game I'm playing a lot of right now it's an F. So um, there's gonna be a lot of times where I stare at something like why is that happening? And that's why. Um, is it? This would be the woodcutter so that does <laughs> just wood. Um, do you think I need to have a higher level workbench? I don't know. Uh, inventory. Do we have any rubber on us? I should probably inventory. <laughs> Get this mess put together. Well, let's grab the stuff that we have. And then we like right click on it and we just click on it. Do they just need rubber? Cloth. No, it needs specifically a tire. Times three. Okay. Um, can I access the handbook? So H is social. Interesting. All right, we need bronze bars, leather, smelt of the furnace. At least we have the small engine. Ah, so the seat takes the leather and the wood. Do you have any wood boards up and running yet? So grab here. Uh, we have one. That's hardwood, normal. Ah, uh, we don't really need that right yet. So let's get some of these a work in. Uh, craft. I don't remember how many it said we needed. No, let's go with five and then we can increase it in a little bit as we need. Uh, refuel that, because I was not going to cover it. Yeah, I wonder if there's a quick key into the handbook. Doesn't really say what they are anywhere. Copper bar. Um, on tough creatures, fur, plant fiber, so we need three leather, or four leather. What's in this chest? This leather. Is that the same as what we need though? Because <laughs> there's leather, fur, and worn fur. And I get them mixed up quite often. So let's just double check what we we need. Oh well, le leather's right here, so we need two fur. 
Do we have those? Let's swap that out. No, I think I need <laughs> that. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this. I don't know what you're talking about. Craft. Confirm. So let's get one more leather because I think that'll have us uh, where we need. I'm going to sort everything and see if I can figure out the tire situation. Alrighty, so we're inside and I was going to see if there's any way to decorate with this. Um, aha! I placed it somewhere. <laughs> so we now have a fan and it gives us more stamina. Now let's see about the clock. Does it need to be like on a wall? On the ground? You can't... Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but from my knowledge you can't really look up or down. Um, so it doesn't look like I can really put it like against a wall or on the floor or anything like that. So I might not have my house leveled up enough for it, but at least we can keep cool in this summer weather. Though today it's kind of pretty cloudy. Um, so I went up to, I think A&G is what it's called, the construction group. And uh, I found that I will need to upgrade our workbench before we are able to make the seats, the tires, and the it also provides us with a new sword. Um, so that's super exciting. Uh, we have the gold, which surprised me, um, but we do not have the... It needs like 10 hardwood planks and then old parts. I think we might have enough old parts, um, but we certainly don't have enough wood planks because I don't think we even have any because that's just normal wooden board. Um, we also need a whole ton of this crafted up for this build as well. I'm going to have to use up all of the plant fiber that I have so we'll have to do a whole nother set in that thing before um, we are able to... I think it goes across like the top of the vehicle. I'm not sure though because it looks pretty shiny but it might just be the whole model shiny. So yeah um, I need more sand and I'm probably gonna need, need more ores so I will be heading off to the mines to try to get more of that those things. It's going to be quite cost heavy I'm also not entirely sure that we'll be able to see anything until all of the DDs are complete. Um, and if that's the case, it might be a little bit. I don't think we want to sit here and watch me complete all of those DDs. Um, so I might do one and then do the rest off screen and show you what that results in. I'm not really sure. Um, one thing is for sure we are definitely reaching the end of what this demo has for us to explore and to, to check out so be aware of that uh the planet Bay series has one more episode um and that'll be coming out tomorrow um yeah so that's definitely coming to a finish that's going to be the last episode of that so you guys have a suggested don't say art cujo <laughs> of what i should play um let me know i'm trying i was trying to see if i could think of something that was particularly thank you particularly um, fitting for October. I'm not really into horror games. I have enough nightmares as it is without giving myself more fuel. So um, yeah, I don't, I haven't really figured out what I want to do for the next gameplay series. And unfortunately I have to try to come up with two, <laughs> one right after the other. So if you have any suggestions, go ahead and let me know. Um, but for now, uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. Just listening to this annoying clink over and over and over again. So I'll see you guys in a bit. There seems to be a ladybug in the river. <laughs> Can you guys see them? Yep, there he is. He just waltzed right on out. Walked around a little bit. Came back up. I'm out here uh, harvesting. I'm out here grounding, apparently. No, um, I'm out here trying to collect some more hardwood um, because, like I said, we need those 10 hardwood planks. Um, I've got some stuff going, like I have a lot of copper going because we need like 20 copper ingots, bars, whatever. 
Um, and then I'll be working on... Man, this dude's just going all over the place, isn't he? Well, have fun. Don't... Well, I guess the snakes aren't out right now. I was gonna say be careful with snakes, but... I guess he doesn't really have to worry. Um, I think there's some bronze stuff that ne is needed. We certainly have all of the old parts that we need for upgrading to the um, next tier of the workshop, uh, but we're still pretty far off on getting the DD done. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep grinding away. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Alrighty, many, many days later. <laughs> I am back. Um, I mean, it took two days just for the uh, hardwood planks to get cut. Um, so what I've been doing is I just ran around and took like a 20 minute video of finding every single door, going in every single place I could to kind of have like a <clears throat> like a record. So when they do updates, we'll be able to see the differences. This is not where I want to be, believe it or not. I want to go to A and G Construction. The reason I brought you back is because I do believe I now have enough to purchase that upgrade. I did find a couple of the houses where some people lived. I found like where Higgins, that dude who was just trying to take our commissions, um, hardwood, wood parts, old parts, and the gold. So update. Oh, fancy. Um. Can I rotate it? Q, directional, ASD, brackets, scrolling, ZXC. Alright, so it doesn't look like this one gets to be um, turned. You have selected location, begin construction. Okay. So we've leveled it up. It looks like it's going to have to build. Anyway. Um, what I was saying was uh, found Higgins place. It looks pretty much like a, the default empty green room with two items in it. But it does say like the best across the top of it. There is one fully built out like flesh, fleshed out um, house that we haven't even seen. Hello, Cyrio. Please get off the table. Um, and that is the mayor's house. So let's go up to the mayor's house. I was kind of impressed with it. Um, I stopped by all of it. I cannot see with your big fat cat butt in my way. So right here, I think, is the Gale's house. There's Ginger and QQ. Alright, now I can see. Um, so this is the mayor's office, or house rather. So this is where Ginger must spend most of her time. Hello, Ginger. People in Portia are very simple and friendly. Yes, you have mentioned. Um, and then this is the f only place that I've seen. Oh, they have like little Halloween pumpkins um, that have multiple rooms. So that gives me hope because I was starting to worry that the houses were all going to be one room. But it does not look that way. You cannot open this door. And then there's an upstairs. Uh, to an area with this like drape on in the way there's like a bright pink couch that I can see through the crack right there it's like a bear couch it's a very colorful room and I don't know what it is um, there's a lot of beds um, I know Russo must live here um, ginger gust gusto and obviously Gale will live there, so I guess that makes sense there's so many beds. Um, so yeah, that's an area that I found while I was looking around that I had not seen before, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, are you the same? You look exactly the <gasps> It's so beautiful. We'll have to build that, potentially, an upgrade kit. That's fine. But we can now make... Rubber tires and the seats. I think we need all four of those. I'm gonna check because I'd really hate to misuse my um, materials that I have just spent forever. Yes. Four seats and three tires are needed. So let's 
build up those four seats. Okay, and then we need three tires. What are we short on? Confirm. Rubber trees. Okay. Um, so let's clear out some of this. Um, I guess we could probably keep the engine. Sort yourself, please. Get those seats. Get those tires. So we can place some of this stuff. Alright, so we got five. Stick that tire there. And a tire there. And now it's super uneven. Uh, and then we need to stew the ten glass. Uh, and now the twenty cloth. Which does not look like it's made of cloth. There's the engine. Uh, we got one seat, three seats. So there's that. That's super exciting. All right, what else do we need? Head into the inventory and check out the handbook. So check, check, check. Not done. Not done. Twenty copper bars. We got those. We're just not in the hat bar. That down there. Yes! So now we just need one wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed. And then we'll collect that up in the morning. Good morning! And we just finished crafting our one tire. Oh, place that. Yes! Let's just pick up this entire vehicle and take it. I can place it anywhere. Can I keep it? Can I drive it around? That'd be nice. Yeah, when I was checking out houses, I went all the way down uh, to that area. I found a new fishing area. Got the same fish. No one's surprised. <laughs> Alright, so let's head in here. I think... Oh, thank god it was late enough. That we gotta give it to this guy. Or girl. Uh, the quality is excellent. Good work. Since you finished the DD, I suppose I'm supposed to tell you to go see Mr. Mayor. He wants you to build some roadsides or something. That's specific. All right. Let's go see what the mayor has to say. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. What are you doing over here? Are you at the cafe? I don't think I can go in the cafe. So you had better not be in there. Oh, it's Sunday. They're all going to church. Ah, there you are. Thank you for your help in completing the transport. Now we have the vehicle. We need some stop signs to show folks where they can get on and off. For the initiation of the system, I want five DD stops. I'm commissioning you to build and place three of them. What do you say? Thank you. Take the commission. Now that I think, now that I think about it, you probably don't have the necessary handbook diagram for this item. You need to do research center and talk to Petra, and she'll be able to help you. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, so talk to Petra. Oh lord! All right, so what do we got here? There's that, that, and that. These are going to be, I assume, our stops. We have the harbor, the island. Uh, I don't know what's back there. Oh, maybe that's the those ruins, and then the last one is at the tree farm, it looks like. So, to the research center. Sorry for all of these jump cuts, but I figured it's better than actually watching through all of it. The DD stop sign. That should be a bench and a few signs, right? Let's see, for that I think we'll need three data disks. Well, I should have been smart enough to grab those. Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> so, with all of this running back and forth that I've done, I thought I would go ahead and mention that in the next build, they've taken away so that your sprinting doesn't take away your the same uh, stamina as everything else. I think it'll be its own separate meter. So you don't have to decide, you know, not to do something because you ran or whatever. Okay, we have them. Great. It'll take a while to analyze all the data. I'll contact you when we have something. Well, I guess that'll be where we end it this episode. I have zero idea how long this episode is, so apologies if it's too short or too long. <laughs> um, 
So it looks like next time we'll be working on getting those stop signs and upgrading the sword, which I will purchase the upgrade tool as I head home. So if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and check out the description down below. And if this is a game that you're interested in, there is a Kickstarter going for it right now. Um, and I have that linked down below. So you really should check it out if um, it's something you want. Uh, you can. There's things from shirts and plushies to different in-game pets and stuff like that. Um, as well as most of them give you a key to the game. So you're in essence pre-ordering the game. <laughs> so yeah, give, give that a look. Um, but until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.